and girls, let's have everybody stand up. We're going to sing hello today. Hello, everybody. Glad to see you. Clap your hands and show you're glad to see me, too. Clap your hands, everybody. Clap your hands. Clap your hands and show you're glad to see me, too. Roll it out. Hello, everybody. Glad to see you. Stamp your feet and show you're glad to see me, too. Stamp your feet, everybody. Stamp your feet. Stamp your feet and show you're glad to see me, too. Clap your hands and show you're glad to see me, too. Roll it out. Hello, everybody. Glad to see you. Shake your hips and show you're glad to see me, too. Shake your hips, everybody. Shake your hips. Shake your hips and show you're glad to see me, too. Stamp your feet and show you're glad to see me, too. Clap your hands and show you're glad to see me, too. Roll it out! Hello, everybody. Glad to see you. Nod your head and show you're glad to see me, too. Nod your head, everybody. Nod your head. Nod your head and show you're glad to see me, too. Yep. Shake your hips and show you're glad to see me, too. Stamp your feet and show you're glad to see me, too. Clap your hands and show you're glad to see me, too. Roll it out! Hello, everybody. Glad to see you. Blink your eyes and show you're glad to see me, too. Blink your eyes, everybody. Blink your eyes. Blink your eyes and show you're glad to see me, too. Nod your head and show you're glad to see me, too. Shake your hips and show you're glad to see me, too. Stamp your feet and show you're glad to see me, too. Clap your hands and show you're glad to see me, too. Roll it out. Okay, boys and girls, let's remain standing while we say the pledge. Here is the American flag, and it's red, white, and blue. Put your right hand over your heart and say the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, boys and girls, you can sit down now. Boys and girls, we are in a brand new month today. It's not May anymore. It's the first month of summer, and it's June. Let's spell it. J-U-N-E. And remember when we learned about the letter J, we said it looked like an upside-down candy cane. Or, in June, maybe we could say it looks like a fish hook for all of those of you who are going to go fishing. Okay, if yesterday was Sunday. What's the first day of the school week? You're right. It's Monday. It's Monday, June 1st, 2020. We didn't have a lot of numbers at all to count for that. Okay, but we're going to count with our number song. Two, three, four, five, six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Count to ten with our monster. Monsters! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold one hand up, that's five fingers. Hold two hands up, that's ten fingers. Ten, ten, count to ten, count to ten with our friends. Count to ten with our cowboy friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count to ten with our baby friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten, count to ten, count to ten with our friends. Hey boys and girls, we have been talking all about the farm. And we've learned a lot of animals on the farm. We learned about our cow, where we get milk, and our chicken, where we get eggs. Today, and we learned about the farmer who takes care of all the animals and takes care of all the plants that are growing. Today, we're gonna learn about another animal, not one that we generally get meat from, but one that we get fleece from. We're gonna learn about a sheep today. Miss Rosemary's gonna read you a book. My sheep. My name is Audrey. Welcome to my sheep farm. This is Belle. Belle is an eel. An eel is a mother sheep. This is Belle's lamb. The lamb is a baby sheep. The lamb can always find its mother. The lamb just has to listen for a special bleat. That's the sound the lamb makes. The bleat sounds like this. Bah, bah. I feed my sheep grain. They eat grain from a trough. A trough is like a little feeding bucket at the bottom. My sheep grows coats in the winter. See the coat that that sheep grow? Their coats are called fleece. Fleece keeps the sheep warm when it is cold. In the spring, Dad shaves off the fleece. It doesn't hurt the sheep. It's like giving the sheep a haircut. The fleece is made of wool. The wool is used to make yarn. At night, my sheep go to sleep in a pen. The straw on the floor keeps them warm. Good night, my sheep. Okay, boys and girls. So we know from sheeps we get wool. And I don't know if you remember the other day, Miss Rosemary showed you a scarf for show and tell, and that was made out of wool. And that scarf came from a sheep. Okay, today we're going to make a sheep. Now the pattern is on the Google Classroom. It's all in white and you can make it all in white or white and black. The, this is the body of the sheep, okay? Now we're gonna put the head on the sheep. We're gonna put the head on the sheep, okay? And we're gonna give him four legs. A sheep has four legs. Okay. <clears throat> and then we'll give the sheep some eyes. Now the sheep in your pattern has googly eyes, but I didn't have googly eyes. So I just made some eyes. I cut out a piece of white paper and an oval and I gave it a dot and made eyes. But wait a minute, sheeps are supposed to be fluffy. So on your pattern on Google Classroom, it says to use cotton. But I didn't have cotton, but I did have tissues. So I took a tissue and I broke it up into little pieces and I made it into little balls. And now I'm gonna make my sheep nice and fluffy. So remember, if you don't have cotton at home, that's not a problem. I'm sure you have tissues or napkins or paper towels or even tissue paper from an old gift. And you can make your sheep. 
So you don't need, we can always use different supplies. And this, what I'm putting on now is called the sheep's fleece. And remember, the sheep grows this fleece real long over the winter. And in the springtime, the farmer shaves it. It's called shearing. And if you look at Google Classroom, there's a whole movie about shearing sheep. Now remember, it doesn't hurt the sheep. And then the farmer sends this out to make yarn. This is, it becomes wool, it's wool, and the farmer sends it out to make yarn. So you have a fluffy sheep. Let's give him some more fluff. You have a real fluffy sheep today. Let's give him a few more pieces. So remember, boys and girls, if you have cotton, you can use cotton. If you don't have cotton, you can use tissues. You can use tissue papers. And now you have a fluffy sheep, okay? Bye, 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 bye. I'll see you tomorrow.